I took the photo. All right, hello. Hey. Uh, so Lucky's here. He's the TL for Red Devils. If you wanna begin. All right, oh. cool. Sweet. Oh, apparently not. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, what's going on? So, uh, first question, I guess. How did you enjoy the scrim? You know, we actually loved it, and I personally did. Uh, I don't have a standing team, so I put the team together of, you know, I got 45 guys that want to play, so we were able to get, you know, a full team in uh, nice. two weeks. I only got, uh, we got 20 guys on one server once for practice, and that was it. So mm. guys are, you know, I knew we were going to take a beating. I try to talk people up, but it's all right. I'm, I'm good. All right, so then that kind of leads into my next question. Before the uh, event started, before the scrimmage started, did you think you had a chance of winning? Or how good did you think your chances were? You know, and these guys are going to listen to this, and they're not going to like it, but I, I was pretty certain we were going to lose, and I'm totally fine with it. We don't play the group that I play with. We don't ever play Supremacy. I've played Anlo Valley uh, probably twice, you know, and I've been in this game for, like, I don't know how many hours I have in it, but a ton. I just... We, I don't care much for the game mode. I never liked it, never play it. So uh, literally we were running Antelope Valley and Song Bay just to figure out where stuff was. So uh, that's that's a bad sign when you're going into a match, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bad sign, but uh, and it's no excuse. We didn't do very well, but I, I'm very happy with the team and, and where we're at. So uh, that's, that's how I'm going to answer that one. All righty. Uh, have you ever played on the Bloodbath servers or against Bloodbath uh, members before? At any other sort of events or just in casual play? No, we, we have not. Uh, I've met Bloodbath a couple, or Blood Malice a couple times back in the original RO2 days. We, we both had servers there. Uh, and actually, we both still do have servers there. So I've talked to them once or twice for various things, but we never played together. Uh, I have never... Early on, when I was running uh, running my group, I got into some of the scrim stuff, and it was just such a pain in the ass, honestly, that I decided I didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I just kind of stayed out of that whole arena. Uh, until yeah. recently, Blood said, "Hey, you want to play?" And I'm like, "You know, I'm I'm ready to take a shot at it." So uh, that's what we did, and we lost. And I I totally expected it. And I've been talking to these guys. We're I've got a team now. Uh, I'm going to expand it. Uh, we're going to run the maps. We're going to go over what went wrong, what went right, figure out, you know, really who's going to be the best commander, who's going to be the best pilots. Um, so we're hoping hoping to do it again and do and do much better. I am looking forward to seeing it, man. You guys did pretty well for your uh, first real scrim. What do you um what what do you think was your team's biggest strength going into this? You know and I'm going to say it, and it's going to piss these guys off on my team that are going to hear this, is, is we didn't have any. I mean, our team was literally, uh, you know, literally, like I say, put together in two weeks. You know, I got five or six guys that I play with on my Discord on a regular basis, and we hang out and bullshit and play. But we never uh, we never had it, what I call a, a team at all. I mean, not even what I call a team. We never had a team. We just had some guys that would join the same squad together kind of thing, you know. Uh, so... Sure. It's really, really from the very beginning was and it wasn't is an, is a process for us. It's not uh, <laughs> not finished sure. by any stretch of the imagination. So, <laughs> sure. I, I, I wish I said we had a team, but we don't. I mean, we never. Like I said, I kind of got out of that, you know, my God, years ago, and uh, just now decided it sounded like it was something fun to do and something that I wanted to do just because of uh, you know the public servers. They have they have their their points you know and their good spots but right. let's face it when you can when you can shut a server down and play with a group of guys you know 20 against 20 30 against 30 and you can just have a much better you know more professional type game for lack of better word and that's currently what i was looking for you know for me and my guys so like i said we're we're there now we got the team so i think it's all it's all up from here what do you think surprised you the most about uh, the match? Or what, what surprised you the most during the match? I was surprised on, uh, like, Sung Bay, for example, is I got my squad to Delta, and we did what I wanted to, and we actually took Delta, which in that map is the center, center high point, and uh, we were getting Fox capped behind us, and that was a mistake that, you know, in our command structure that should have never happened. 
so I wasn't happy about that. And that's something that, uh, you know, I learned my lesson on is we're going to have to, to make sure that doesn't ever happen again, um, on that map on, uh, Antelope Valley. You know, I was debating cause again, I don't play that and none of my guys do our commander hadn't played supremacy either. We should have hit uh, Charlie harder up front. Or is it Charlie or Delta? No, Delta. Sorry, Charlie's the one on the hill. Delta's like on a smaller hill. But the, basically, it's a, it's a point in the center of the mass map. We should have had all uh, two-thirds of our, of our army should have went there with one-third heading towards Charlie, in my opinion. So these guys may listen to this and figure out my next strategy. But that's just stuff off the top of my head that when I was playing, I was actually watching and seeing what they were doing the best I could because... Uh, like I said, I suspected we were going to lose, and I don't know how to play that. And uh, we learned some stuff, but uh, you know, on and all, honestly, if I would have had this, you know, same group of guys, I think we would have pulled off a victory on any public server, you know, pretty rapidly. So that's, oh, that's yeah. a plus. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is a world of difference when you're playing in a organized event versus just against pubs. Oh, for sure, for sure, and uh, like I said, I. I completely got out of playing, you know, you know, clan battles as we called them back in the day. I don't even know what they call them nowadays. I just it was so, so much just a pain in the butt, you know, just trying to get the guys and trying to get people to play. And then everybody blamed everybody for losses and wins. And so, sure. you know, we're going to have all that too with these, with these guys. A lot of them, you know, play on my servers, but they're not necessarily people that I've, I've ever had on discord or talk with before. So literally half these guys I only met a week ago on discord a few times, you know, when I brought them in and, and forced them to get on discord and, uh, you know, and talk with me about what we were going to do. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with them. Honestly, I know it's, it's, you know, I'm getting swept like that sucks and I get it, but it's like, I'm just happy to have a team. I'm like, if, you know, if they put a new team on the NFL and they lose every game the first year, just be happy they got a new team you know <laughs> right what uh what would you have changed about your strategy or you know sort of strategic thinking uh if you could go back and you know redo the scrimmage knowing what you know now yeah i we didn't it didn't and i don't know if it was you know a failure and, and ultimately it's got to be the failure on the commanders that were that were doing it is we didn't hold those those back caps and i made a mistake on my squad like i said i pushed up to delta i took it and then got fox you know was fell behind me so then i had to throw guys back to that and then of course i lost delta because i only had half a squad so you know obviously my position is it should have done it the other way around i should have left two guys in fox to let me know what was going on behind me or have another squad follow up behind me and camp there for you know just 30 seconds 40 seconds maybe a minute just to see if we've got activity coming you know to sweep behind us um so they did really well at flanking us and i knew they were going to flank us i just wasn't not having played those maps like that i wasn't sure exactly where they were going to come from and i still don't know so i'm gonna have to go with the other guys and, and try to talk with them and say okay how did they get to fox you know what was it through the right was it up the middle you know how did they do that sure so then that kind of, I guess, connects to another question I was going to ask. What was the organization like on uh, your team? Because I know Bloodbath traditionally tends to be fairly loose in the way that they organize and kind of corral. Like, it's like herding cats, basically, is how I've heard it described. Uh, what was it like for you guys? Did you have set squad leaders and did they all kind of follow orders, so to say? Or how was it going for you? Yeah, all, all I did is because we were so new is, is I, I filled the squad leader, the squad leader, the radio man, the helicopters and the team leaders is all that I filled. Uh, all the rest of my guys just, I'm not going to get into who's going to play flamethrower and uh, engineer and all the other, you know, categories you could think of. I'm like, you guys play what you're good at and what you can kill the most people at. So pick those. I just want to know who is going to, you know, take those squads. And then it was up to the commander to decide, you know, I didn't make plays for him because I, I, I just played as a, as a, as a squad leader. So, um, I left it up to him to decide where he wanted everybody to go. So um, the squad leaders got to, the team leaders got to, you know, decide how it all worked out and what we can do better with that. Uh, but that's how I did it is just make sure those, those basic roles were filled. Cause I don't want to get too crazy. They're all, I want people to have fun. You know, we're, we're not a group that says, okay, we're going to, we don't do uh, you know, like the hardcore kind of military 
type squads and clans that are out there, communities, whatever word you want to use. We don't do that. I'm not going to have captains and lieutenants, and you know, <laughs> it's 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 a fun thing. And uh, like I say, we're going to go back to the drawing board for sure. Not even the drawing board. Really, go back to stage one. Stage one for us was building the squad or the the team to begin with. Squ you know, stage two for me is going to be uh, figuring out exactly who my pilots are, who my good squad leads are. You know that sort of thing so uh i think that's where bloodbath definitely had uh had an upper hand on us you know it's a much larger uh gaming community so i'm sure they've got a lot of guys that can multi-role better and that's that's something we need to figure out too on my side of the fence is okay how do we multi-roll better who is you know if we don't need a you know if we don't need a team leader then what's the next best position for that next guy to get kind of thing Sure. So then on the uh, on the topic, I guess, of picking people out who are, you know, better than others at certain roles, who do you think was your MVP tonight, if you had the name one? You know, honestly, I don't even know because I seriously wanted to play so much is, is I... I just wanted to play and get on the ground and see what was <laughs> going on, so uh, we're going to have to go back and talk about that. I... I'm personally not happy with my performance in the game. I don't think I don't think any of our guys are happy with how they performed, and I think that's a great place to start. Believe it or not, is you know some of these guys may get uh, may get upset and decide they never want to do it again. But I've been upfront with them that you know we're happy to have a team right now. We did great at putting one together in this short of notice, and uh, that's that's a win for me. So now next time, you know, a month or two down the road, we do this, and I want to see definitely an increase in performance, but. Uh, yeah, honestly, I I don't I didn't see anybody that really stood out. I think it was uh, they were pretty quick games, too quick to really tell, which is depressing. But that's where I stand on it. Is it was uh, it was tough to really say that. I wish I could I wish I could answer that. I know guys played hard, but uh, it was what it was. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. All right. Well, thanks for answering these questions, man. It was good having you here for the scrim, and it was uh, good talking to you afterwards. No, it was fun. I, I'm glad uh, Blood contacted me and said, hey, let's do this, because, uh, like I said, I really wasn't uh, wasn't even thinking about it, and when he asked me, I was like, well, you know, why not? I need something a little different to do, and uh, why not build a team and, and go from there? So and I'm, I've told him I'm, I'm sure we'll do one in the future again, and, and I pray it goes better than that, but uh, we're, we're going to be good to go, so I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be working hard getting these guys... Uh, some practice runs and some internal scrims and figuring out exactly what happened from the commander's perspective and the pilot's perspective and, and go from there. Well, hey, I'm looking forward to a possible rematch in the future. <laughs> Very cool. Me too. Thanks, right. man. Yeah, take care. You too. All right, and we'll hopefully get the uh, bloodbath commander in here. Go ahead and message someone get them to drag them into the voice channel with me kicking and screaming hello hey we're getting salad in right now all right Hello, Salad. All right, see you guys. Okay. All right, so did you have fun? Oh, yeah, it was a blast. All right, good to hear, man, good to hear. What uh, What do you think contributed the most to uh, your team's success tonight? I think what made us successful ultimately in the end was just the amount of planning, the amount of strategy we, we put in beforehand. I had solid squad leaders. Everyone listened to exactly what you know I wanted to do as commander, and they uh, they followed the orders very directly, and they were very um, pretty much on point, and everyone did their. All right. Did you have a general strategy going into the match, or did you just kind of let everyone do their thing and just give advice here and there? So we actually broke down strategies last night, and I actually want to give a shout out to Conrad Lennon, who subbed in for me while I was at work in the beginning, because he followed the strategy pretty much to the T. But last night we had a um, 
a great breakdown session of, okay, this is our plan. This is exactly what we're going to do. And if that doesn't work, we could move from one lane to another. We, we basically set up lanes across the map, and then we followed them, you know, as the game evolved. Okay. And uh, do you think then uh, that your... So I, I've just spoke with the Red Devil Commander, and he said that they didn't really have that much experience with supremacy. Do you think that the experience with supremacy that a lot of the guys in the Bloodbath team had was uh, a big advantage over Red Devils, or do you think that there were other factors at play that uh, helped you come out on top? Well, there's in any, you know, any game, there's always other factors at play, but we definitely do have a lot of supremacy, uh, a lot of supremacy experience. It tends to be a less popular game mode in RS2 as a whole, but definitely we, um, at least my guys in particular, we definitely spend a, a decent chunk of time just playing Supremacy because it's just a more enjoyable mode to us. All right, what do you think was your team's biggest weakness? Honestly, my team's biggest weakness was, I don't want to say it, but when things started going a little bit too well, we got a little bit over aggressive. Like if you notice when we were playing the VC on Song Bay, they actually were able to land a Huey in our backfield because we had lost the RPG and they were actually able to take A from us while we were advancing on their, their spawn. So definitely weakness was just like getting a little bit over ambitious and overly zealous into like what we're trying to do and not really falling back and defending or keeping our positions as we had pre-assigned. All right, what do you think was the enemy team's biggest strength? Well, like we uh, spoke about before, oh, their biggest strength. Their biggest strength was um, definitely their organization and commitment to the game as a whole. Um, they they had the will, and I could see in the beginning that they um, were pushing towards certain points. And I, they, they had a pretty open strategy. That's what they wanted to do as well. Um, but they're definitely, they're definitely strong in the fact that they just you know, kind of stuck with it. They, they pushed up where they could, but in the end, just you know, our experience on Supremacy, we, we were un, unable to play, uh, we were able to outplay them a little bit too quick. I would have liked to have seen the match go on a little bit longer, but it, it, it is what it is. Now, what was your biggest concern going into the match? What were you most worried about? Going into the match, I was concerned with the plan not playing out exactly as we wanted it to, because we, we had some contingencies, like I said, the lane swapping before, but, you know, had they really pushed up on us, it, uh, Supremacy in general is not a very defensive game. It's a very offensive game. And if you get pushed on that back foot in Supremacy, they're still gaining points, and you could realistically, like, kind of lose your your um, your kind of want to get up and fight, if you will. And it just it, – as you get pushed back, you get weaker and weaker and weaker, and it just it, – it's definitely a uh, – well, obviously, it's a losing battle at that point. What surprised you most about the match tonight? What surprised me most, honestly, was just the cohesiveness of the team and how well we all played together. You know, it was a lot of us uh, supremacy regulars, but we also brought in a lot of people from the other Bloodbath servers, and everyone just really got together, got on the ball, and they kind of followed suit and did what they had to do. I was very surprised with the amount of um, just overall uh, togetherness and, like, the precise actions that were being do you think there's anything that you would have changed at all about your strategy or tactics for the uh, scrim, knowing what you know now, if you could go back in time? Or would you keep things most of the same? Well, I mean, honestly, I would keep things most of the same. They appear to work. These are strategies and methods that we definitely have perfected over time. And really, with what we worked out last night, with the, you know, just staying in our lanes and all that, it definitely made, uh, it definitely made our strategy pretty pretty simple and pretty effective. I, I, I always believe that the easier the strategy, the um, easier it is to execute in time. Well, all right. Thanks for answering these questions. I'm glad you had fun. It was certainly enjoyable to watch. Uh, hopefully you can watch the VOD and get a different perspective on things uh, in the coming days. Oh, I definitely will. I'm definitely going to check it out. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Take care.